So I, I just asked you these questions. Uh, what, when you heat the polymer chain, okay? So let's say I have a blocks of polymer chains here. Yeah, you have your Lego blocks, right? And you increase the temperature. So you, uh, you so let's say, what is the volume uh, of the polymer chain? And not, not the T, but I guess uh, what's the temperature? So what will so I will give you a multiple choice questions. Will it expand or contract? Is this the rubber block, regular block, you heat it up, yeah? You increase the temperature. What happened to this regular block? <laughs> so our friend Matt say most things expand when heated. I think the ninety nine point nine nine percent things will expand, right? So the answer is yes, it will expand. And uh, but there, here, here's the thing, right? So this is a there's a simple experiment that we are with people actually doing this. If you put your sample that is a make a thin films, you measure these thicknesses, thickness zero, and then when you heat it up, and there is a certain uh, devices that trying to push you at the height, and this is your sample stages, and by increasing the temperature, they measure the thicknesses uh, changes. Okay, so they measure the this is a polymer polymers, and this one is in increasing it. And this is what they call TCE. Um, this is a, which means a thermal uh, expansion constant. I think the, I, let, let me check it. And anyway, this, this is essentially what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, sorry about this uh, going to the one. Okay, so the answer is yes, the polymer block, right, a polymer chain material will expand. Thermal expansion. Everyone knows about this, right? Yeah, so that's true. So now my question to you is, so what about this concept? Radio generation. Will it be positive or will it be negative? And people actually measure that. Okay? They heat up the polymer chain. And if I use this, that means radius of temperature goes up, the radius of gyration goes up, right? That means coil will expand. When this is true, if, right, temperature, when it goes up, the actually the radius of gyration goes down, then coil contract. What do you think? I'm talking about now not the, the macroscopic volume or size. Right? This is more like a macro scopic size, right? And I'm talking about individual polymer chain. What do you think about that? This is quite an interesting, but it's a fundamentally you know, interesting problem for you to think about it. And then let, let me give you a clue, and the clue can be can be drawn up here. Do you remember the this diagram that was discussed in the lectures in the video? Right? So we can kind of rotating this around. And this is a, what is called a model to be used for the freely rotation with a hinder rotation, right? 
And the polymer chains, uh, there is always a rotation. And the realistic model is, this is, a, like I said, hindered rotation is better. It's a better description close to the more uh, organic uh, chemistry that you guys learned before. But what about if I increase the temperature increase here? What about this uh, rotation of polymer chain? Can you go the rotation faster? Do you feel follow that? Does it make sense? It, it rotates faster when you increase the temperatures. So when you increase your temperature, uh, the polymer chain rotates faster. And so at low temperature, it's more like a chain with a hinder rotation. When you rotate faster, it is become closer to chain with a free rotation. Right? I mean, it's not really free, but the, the rotation is less hindered, right? So it's a less hindered. How about that? So far, so good? Anyone have a... Can you type yes? All right, so far, so good. Okay, very good. So here's my clue, right? So this is a lower temperature. Behave like a more like hinder chain with a hinder rotation. Higher temperature. Behave like less hindered, almost like a free rotation, right? So I am going to write the equation that we've been discuss about. When it's a hinder rotation, let's say this is something about three, close to three times n l square. Right? When it's a freely rotation, do you remember? What was the value again here? About two times n l square. Which chain is bigger? Which chain is smaller? Right? So I think if people start to make sense, makes sense, right? All right. So far, this one makes sense too, right? So then I'm going to go back to my original question here. This is a question that I wanted to ask you. So number one or number two? Which one is our correct answer? You guys can send it in your online chat, and I can see that. That's right, right? It is. But when the chain goes, goes uh, when, the, when you heat it up, polymer chain shrinks, OK? So it, it becomes smaller. And uh, so this is a thing that overall, uh, the polymer macroscopic volume is expanding it, but this uh, polymer chain individually, they are shrinking. So to put a summarizing end to this phenomena, upon heating the polymer chain, polymers, this is happening in a molecular sense. Okay, low molecular weight. So I'm here, essentially, I'm exaggerating. Okay, let, let me just draw first chain like this. Second chain. So sec, well, how do I draw the second chain? Second chains are sort of located here, right? They are heavily in, entangled, and uh, they are kind of overlapped together. So if I put a center of mass point, this is a blue dot here, and the red dots, on the other side. So, um, <laughs> and I'm sorry that I guess I, uh, what I'm trying to say, low temperature, right? At low temperature, this is a kind of scenario, but at high temperature,
what's going to happen is the location of, let's say, center of mass and the other location of center of mass is now expanding it, okay? So that's the one that what used to be over there is now is a bigger, and individual chain is now individual chains, I'm exaggerating, okay, and like this. Like that, okay? So it's kind of the, the chains are shrinking, but their center of mass distance, distance between the center of mass of individual chains are kind of uh, moving apart so that they can, they can have a, they can have a bigger chain. So I think the, uh, among the online chatting, the, I think was a, was a, who, who was the one? Is, a, is it a, let me go back. Uh, by upon hitting it, essentially this is, so you can think about entanglement is actually changing a little bit here, right? So entanglement is the polymer chains are loosened up uh, by, by doing this. So polymer chain actually disentangle, and uh, that's the that's a that's a one. But uh, yeah, that's a Kevin who answered that, and that's a very good insight. Uh, they are entangled, but but what's more important for me to for you to understand it is polymer chains are smaller at high temperature. I'm not talking about big changes. I'm talking about a few percent changes when you change the temperature, but that's the, what the, the whole point of this, this question is.